Bezrat Hashem in Ha is going to be 7.35. Please be on time. The Gemara talks about a person saying a bracha in a different language. And the Gemara's time, of course, the very popular language was Aramit, Aramaic. And the Gemara discusses if a person says, Berich Rahamana Malka, which is blessed, is Rahamana means a Kadosh Baruch Hu, Malka is the God, is, is King. Mered de Hai Pita, the master of this bread. He said such a bracha, yatsa yedeh chovato, he fulfilled his obligation. Meaning a bracha doesn't have to be said specifically in Ashon HaKodesh. It could be said in other languages and he fulfills the bracha. Uh, preferable to say brachot in the, in the uh, tongue that uh, is, uh, the Torah was given, in tongue of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, which is Ashon HaKodesh. However, you, you do fulfill it. If you say it in English or you say it in Aramit, you would fulfill a bracha. However, what one should not do is if he's in a place of doubt, whether he said a bracha properly, didn't say it, doesn't remember, was he supposed to do it? Any case of doubt, it's not a solution, it's not a solve to say, okay, so you know what, I'm going to say the bracha in another language, I'm going to say it in Aramit, I'm going to say it in English, in order to avoid the issue of bracha de batala, it won't help, because since it counts as a bracha, so therefore, if it's a question, if it's a doubt, and you say in a, another language, that can actually be a potential bracha de batala. So bracha de batala doesn't just apply in the Hebrew language, it could also apply in English, and it could also apply in other languages as well. So therefore, it's proper to not say a bracha the same way. In Hebrew, you wouldn't say b'makom safek, so too uh, in other cases. Although there are some situations where um, there were there were chassidim that got in a question about birkat levana. It was a... Uh, how, how much time you have to say Birkat HaRevana is a question. And some opinions hold that you have to say it by a certain time. So what they would do is they would go outside and they would take the Gemara. And they would open the Gemara and they would read the parts of the Gemara that mention the Bracha of Birkat HaRevana. And oh, I'm not saying a Bracha, I'm learning. But, but also at the same time, it counts as a Bracha. Uh, some uh, Hasidim held that worked. But the Maaseh, that's also, you shouldn't say Bracha with Shem Hashem, even if it's through uh, learning, that would also be problematic. Amen. Amen.